let me let you take us to school a little on the ballistics business because of all that has been said and shown about the crime scene. First of all, you were gazetted as a ballistics examiner several years ago. And you're also a certified crime scene um, examiner. And you've attended several courses on ballistics in Ghana and elsewhere. And uh, please, you have to speak up so that she... Yes, my lord. And you teach at the Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology, yes, ballistics and other things. Take us to school, number one. One, I mean, shooting in the air, hitting people, shooting the air, hitting people has become so common in this country in the last few years. When somebody fires a weapon, a warning shot, and it's into the air, as is regulated, what happens to the bullet? Mm. My lord, um, if you fire in the air perpendicularly, it means that that missile is going to go until a point that it cannot go further. So it will come down and hit the ground. And that speed will be dependent on the gravity. So it will not be as much. But the moment you tilt a weapon, though you think you are giving a warning shot, you are going to endure or kill somebody sitting on the balcony somewhere. Because the trajectory of the bullet is such that it's a parabolic. Just a moment. Um, our lady is trying to get everything. This is uh, technical was <laughs> perpendicular and trajectory. <laughs> It travels like, you know, like an arc. And the speed is still so powerful that any object that it meets in its way is going to get hit. And if it doesn't perforate, it will get embedded in that person. So um, it is not advisable. And even our service instruction says that you should not fire over the heads of a crowd. And if you do that, you may be killing somebody elsewhere. And at Ayawaso, I saw about, uh, almost about two feet, uh, two meters high. That is the container. The, con the container, the one yes, outside. Yes. Um, the, the bullet perforated the container. It came out, and I'm sure by the time it came from the second perforation, maybe the speed has limited so that uh, it couldn't have caused anything. But it is still dangerous, dangerous since we do not know the intermediary, how strong it was able to reduce the speed of that uh, missile. So warning shots, you better don't, but fire effectively. Like the instruction says that you have to fire to the knees, and especially at the ringleaders. If there's a mob attacking life and property, then you have to aim if effectively at the knees of those to tell them that, yes, you, are, you mean business, and you want to ensure that there's law and order. 